it's not expensive or difficult to go camping. With some prep and organization, you can get out and enjoy nature in no time at all. One of the drawbacks of a rooftop tent is you have to try to level your whole vehicle. I carry some interlocking trailer leveling blocks to help with this. And when everything is perched just right, set the emergency brake to keep it all steady. Because getting the tent up requires some climbing around, it's best to do that before doing the kitchen. But if your crew is hungry, get the stove going before you do anything else. The rest can be done while your food cooks. And depending upon if you're in a hurry or wanting to relax, pour yourself a cold beverage. I prefer keeping my home brew in an uninsulated Stanley Growler since it's going to be spending most of its time in the cooler anyway I want it to cool quickly. But I drink it out of a vacuum insulated Yeti Rambler I can seal up and carry it around without spilling. Keeps my hot drinks warm in the morning and my cold drinks cold at night. This is actually a little bit more compact than I used to do. Now I don't have my cooler back here because I have the refrigerator up front in the cab, so there's actually a ton of room. I've got more than enough room to carry all the gear. Doing it modular like this is much easier. I keep all of kind of the kitchen stuff here close to the end. Stuff I'm not going to touch that much is back here. And that's all the camp gear that goes up in the tent so I can easily load it once the tent's up. Now I know many consider it sacrilege to have a fake wood log fire, but put one underneath your fire if you don't need the coals for cooking. For two to four hours they will regulate the fire for you, keeping it steady and cutting down on the excessive smoke. Just add real wood on top as needed to keep it crackling. All my gear is compartmentalized and carried in totes for easy loading and unloading. This helps packing when I'm at home. I just take all the gear off the shelf, add food to cook, and I'm pretty much ready to go. The trick is to make sure everything is ready to go when cleaning up after the last trip. When you finally put it away after your trip, make sure it's ready to go for next time. If anything is missing or is run out or needs to be cleaned, replace it before you put it away. So it's very important for me to be able to set up and tear down camp in a hurry and with relative ease. On some of my mini expeditions, each campsite will be at a different place so I need to be able to both pack and unpack every day. Add to that the time that I'm usually taking photographs along the way, especially at sunrise and sunset, and I may be setting up camp in the dark. So I have to be able to cook dinner and hurry off to bed so I can wake up before dawn the next day and get pictures of sunrise. The less time struggling with my gear, the more time I get to focus on my surroundings. I hate using electric lanterns. I think they ruin the ambiance of camping. But I have bad luck with uh, lanterns as well. The white fuel ones, these mantles, they get damaged every time I'm going off road and stuff. So by the time I get to camp, they're trashed. But it is getting dark. So I just carry a bunch of new uh, mantles with me. Usually that works. There we go. You can see me now. Was I in the dark before? People don't know to pre-burn the mantles on these and they screw them up. They like keep blowing it out because they don't know how to use them. Coleman, I mean, it's got instructions but nobody reads instructions. Now, Got light for cooking because that uh, sunset photo op took a little too long.
seen a lot of camp kitchens that are really nice, but they're either not being made anymore, or they're too expensive, or in some cases, it's way too big where it takes multiple people to carry it. I put this together just using a $5 tote and about, say maybe $15 in materials, not counting all the stuff I put in there, and then everything else is just cheap budget kitchenware. And it does the job for me. Everything works out great. It carries everything all in one spot, so I just have to make sure I clean everything when I get home. That's it. I never have to worry about forgetting anything because I just carry everything with me all the time. As long as I keep this packed up, I go home, I'll wash everything. I'll put it right back in here so by the time it gets packed away, it's ready to go for next time. All I have to do is grab and I'm out the door. This is the number one thing when I'm camping that all the gear comes down to making sure you have this, that, and the other thing. If you just have it all at once, you grab that, that, that cuts down on the amount of time it takes to get ready by a massive amount. Everything else is just uh, carrying food, some sleeping gear, some miscellaneous, and it really is pretty easy, but the kitchen gear is something where if you forget the right, the utensils you need, you might be in some trouble. You'll be eating a can of soup instead of whatever you were planning on cooking. But if everything's prepped and ready to go, it just makes setting up a dream. It's nice because I can still get into things to get paper towels or some wet wipes when it's upright, but when I'm camped out, I set it up and there's all my gear that I need, everything's uh, got my own little kitchen set up ready to go. I like to carry food in a plastic tote too, that way I don't smash my chips or anything when I'm hauling stuff. Obviously this was kind of a quickie trip so everything's just snacks. But that way I can stack stuff on it and it doesn't smash anything. Plus these two uh, totes can stack, so it makes everything pack up really well. This is my miscellaneous bin. Um, it carries just things that don't fit anywhere else very easily. And emergency stuff like um, this uh, in southern Utah you need to pack out your waste. Water, camp shower, more toilet stuff, always spare matches batteries, garbage bags, just a whole bunch of stuff that I, I rarely even have to dive into this box, but it's there just in case, carrying everything I could ever need that's not in any of the other bins. This bin holds all the bedding and clothes, mostly because I had to get the big bin because the uh, pad wouldn't fit in carry a tent just in case. Sometimes I want to have a permanent camp I can drive away from so I don't use the rooftop tent. The uh, toilet, if you uh, saw the pack and go for pack your own waste out, that's kind of explains that. It seems kind of gross to carry that kind of thing around with you, but once you really need it and you don't have it, you will forever want it. So that's not such a bad investment. I'd rather have it than go without. Fitting up here is pretty basic, exactly what you would expect. It's just a tent, really. I mean, the floor, the footprint is exactly the same as my backpacking tent was, so it's pretty much normal, other than the easy setup and takedown. Very spacious with just one person. With two people, it still works. A little more crowded. You don't have as much elbow room as usual.
all this stuff I did was for cheap. I mean, this cheap Harbor Freight matting I think was $8 on sale. Cheap Ikea bins that roll back. I like having these uh, clips on them. I don't think they make the clips anymore. Maybe someday I'll have a nice tray system and drawers and everything sliding out, but for now, this works just fine for me. I'm pretty happy considering I did this for a tiny fraction of what a truck bed drawer system would cost. And even though everything is in covered bins where any water will drain off to the sides, I still like to put a tarp over everything to keep all the trail dust from covering my gear. Finally, a nice adjustable spiderweb bungee net to hold it all down. There we go. All packed up, ready to head out. It's only 8.40, I've had breakfast, I took pictures of the sunrise. I've had a pretty good morning already. Technically the morning's just barely going, at least in my opinion, I'm more of a late person anyway. I hope something here gave you some ideas to get out into the wilderness yourself. Thanks for watching.